Test drive. One. So as you know, this is my posty bike. It has a carry on the back, but not a lot of other storage. So I've got one of these carriers for the front. It's called an eyebrow rack. The mounts on the top of the posty either side and under the light, these bolts either side. So I'm just gonna quickly put that on. And Anyway, through movie magic, we'll soon have that on. I'll show you in a second. And there we go. And now it gives me a little bit of uh, storage on the front, even a rack I can just um, tie stuff to. Cool. Posty comes with this little uh, utility tool holder, um, which is fairly standard in Australia Posty bikes, but this one has nothing in it and is pretty small. So I'm going to uh, build a new one using. Uh, 90 millimeter PVC pipe with an end cap and a few things. So it'll give me a much larger capacity tool holder. I'm just one. So there we go, there's the, the new tool carrier installed. Just gotta to touch it up a bit, but uh, it's very solid. It's not going anywhere. And it's got a screw on base, so it'll be easy to uh, get into. Just fitted a uh, mount for GoPros and cameras and other things, and also a uh, 12 volt adapter so I can put a USB charger in there and charge as I'm driving along. So, as part of sorting through this bike, I'm going to replace the air filter which is in here. I'm going to show you what the old one looks like, but before I start, I've got the replacement, and you have to actually soak some, uh, put some oil in this, soak some oil through and it says to use some some gear oil so I'm going to do that and uh, I'll show you what that looks like so now I'm going to replace this air filter in here. The, um, this air filter it slips over a cage or a, yeah, just a, a holder. So to get to the air filter we need to undo this screw and undo this butterfly nut. sleeve slips down off the top like that and it comes off then I need to undo this retaining screw which I think is 10 millimeter there's not much on these bikes that doesn't undo with a 10 or a 12 yep 10 uh, that way And this is just the retainer so you can tell this was from a from a farm this is a farmer's fix it's an old sock that's been zip tied onto the the cage itself so it probably worked for a while but I'm gonna put a proper filter on it now it should be a lot better crazy huh Still pretty good shape. So now we sleeve the uni filter on. And there we go. 
So I'll just slip that back on and reverse the process and do it up. In between shots I actually cleaned all of this out. So it's nice and clean now. I'm about to replace the carby as well, so I'm gonna take all of this off, I think, and then, uh, yeah, replace the carburetor. So I'll put that on a bit later. So this carby is uh, pretty old and acting up, and I was gonna put a kit through it, but it costs the same to get a whole new carburetor that's already been kitted and cleaned. So this is pretty much new from the factory. I'm just gonna replace the fuel cock um, so I won't need to undo the hoses, this just will come off in one piece and I'll replace the one that's on here and the rest is just front and back and then I'll need to work out the throttle linkage. Well, that was one problem there. The choke doesn't work. It stays open. On the new one you can see the choke should open like that and close like that. So down is on. If you want down is normal running. If you want the choke on, it has to be like that. It, it chokes the air, it holds the air back. But this one is just jammed on, open. It's like that. That's one problem. I can also see a whole lot of dirt and stuff inside of it, so I think I chose the right answer to replace the whole thing. The needle doesn't look too dirty, but it's really what happens inside here that matters. So I'll just leave that hanging to the side. Um, I'll just remove the body before I disconnect the fuel cocks. That can stay there. So it's in the off position, so it's closed. So I should be able to undo it and remove it. Again, I think these are no smaller than 12. Maybe 8. Yes. Not tight at all. Well, tight enough, I guess. There you go. Could you see any of that with my big arm in the way? They seem just finger tight now. I'm going to try and keep this gasket so I might clean it up and that's the seal there so I'm just going to remove the fuel cock here fuel switch a little bit of fuel which is good, I mean fuel's getting in there. Yeah, it's really gummed up inside. Like I said, that's the that's the old choke flap. That's really gummed and dirty, you can see it's a mess in there. Later on I'm gonna have a look in the fuel bowl to see what issues there might have been, but for now I just want to get the new one on, which looks a lot cleaner than this. So it'll just be the reverse process. I'll save you all from watching that. I'll just put it together and I'll show you what it looks like when it's on. So there it is, all back together. New throttle linkage, but the same throttle cable, just to reattach the new end. It's the old fuel cock onto the new throttle body. Use the new seal and everything. It's all attached and shiny. 
So um, attach the air cleaner body. So that's all done now as well. I'm just going to have a quick look at the old carb and then uh, we'll try and start this up and tune it so it runs okay. Fingers crossed. I wasn't going to bring you back but this is the inside of the old float bowl and that's just crud from years of being out in the bush and using no air filter or I don't know, it's terrible crud and if we look at the bottom of the float here I'm pretty sure this main needle would be absolutely clogged this is the idle needle and it, the bike did idle okay but it wouldn't accelerate and I'm pretty sure it's because this is all clogged up so I think it was a smart idea to replace the whole thing but I'll keep this as um, spare parts in a little box somewhere I'm gonna clean out the bowl as much as I can before I put it away but isn't that crazy how dirty is that no wonder it had no chance see if it starts. Fuel is on, key is on, we're in neutral, run is on, all seems loose. Time. I mean the wheel is spinning because uh, the clutch is a little tight, I mean I can slow that. It's not in gear, it's in neutral, but you want the clutch to be slightly grabbing. I don't think I even need to touch it. I didn't even put the choke on because it's not very cold. Wow, I don't think I need to touch it. Well, I guess I'll have to make some room and take it for a bit of a test drive now. Test drive one. Thanks for watching.